ウェルカムトゥーツーディートラッシュキャスト。OK、Welcome to another episode of 2D Trash Cast. Your God might have abandoned you, but if it makes you feel any better, we haven't. At least not yet. It's me, your boy, Rui Tsukuyo Sensei's Revenge Porn Collection. And with me, I have my other goblin friends, Nick and Travis. What's up, <laughs> What's up man? <laughs> 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 my goblin best friend okay i'm sorry i'll no. try to do better next time all right travis travis doesn't travis doesn't deserve any kind of uh recognition <laughs> so what's up guys how's your friday's been uh it's going all right now that we're uh you know off work and all that off work and all that huh <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you'll be, you'll be all right. You're all right now, right? Oh. Wow, oh. that's rude, sir. Uh, uh, that hits lower. Uh, that hits a little close to home. <laughs> that hits close to home also. <laughs> that's close to my home. <laughs> no. Nah. But, um, so we have a little bit to talk about today, but, you know, there's kind of a thing Tra- that... Travis uh, isn't audible. Oh, oh, what do you do now? Now it is. It's coming up through my Xbox mic and not my podcasting mic. Yippee! Awesome. Technical difficulties part three. <laughs> oh, so good. This is going to be real interesting for the YouTube video. A whole minute where we're not talking. Yippee! You guys, can, <laughs> you guys can continue talking while I figure it out. All right. Well, while Travis is working out his problems in the Shadow Realm. Uh, y'all, Nick. So, what? recently, you've seen the Monster Hunter movie, right? Yes. I've recently seen the Monster Hunter movie. What a coincidence. Okay. So, let me ask you, man, <laughs> just to have you on record, how do you feel about that movie? <sighs> it was... in it, <laughs> For what it was, it was okay. At yeah. best. Mm-hmm. At best. At I best? will say that. Yeah. Yeah, so the uh, the thing about it was, right, as I was, like, watching it, they had, like, the whole fifth, there's, like, 50 minutes for me of what I felt like was stuff you could have just kind of taken out of the movie. Because it wasn't good for me until, like, the last 30 minutes when, like, Rathalo shows up. Does it make sense? Yeah, no, I mean, yeah, no, I agree with that. Like... Like, like the whole the movie like the whole... was just so bad yeah. like <laughs> in whole... general. Yeah, <laughs> like the, whole... the the description of the movie was that they were trying to fight the Diablos. The Diablos was literally in the movie for two whole minutes. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> Most of the movie was just about what's her name. Yeah, the the main character, the army. Yeah, the main character yeah. chick. Like, how are you gonna make a monster hunter movie with no monsters? Yeah. So, hi. Yeah, what's up? Hi. Right. How did you hear me? I was muted. Oh, well, I guess it's working now. Yeah, I guess it's working now. I mean, I can hear it through Discord. Yeah, yeah, you're good on you're good on Twitch now, too. Oh, is he good on Twitch? Oh, yeah. you know. Okay, cool. cool. My, uh, <laughs> my default microphone switch to my headset one. Oh, uh, okay. Well, at least we okay. got it fixed now. So, I will say this, like... <laughs> the images like that they portrayed in the movie as far as like the monster hunter weapons the monster hunter armor i guess the like the one guy was wearing uh mm-hmm. those were all kind of cool and the monsters did look cool when they were on screen like when the diablo showed up which was the black diablos too which it's kind of strange that they went for like i was like oh damn she just skipped the whole main story just went straight to master rank shit already cool <laughs> yeah right right yeah uh, when he did show up it was cool but like for the most part like who gives a shit about mila jovovich <laughs> i'm watching the movie because i want to see you slay monsters that's yeah. what the movie's about that's what the game is about so uh-huh. why is how, there any monsters? how did they come up with the story for it because I don't understand. The story they... could have been fine. It was an isekai, which great. <laughs> okay, uh-huh. so so which they don't explain. So it's automatically trash. They don't explain the isekai. 
so there it's this uh ragtag group of i don't know u.s marines maybe they don't yeah, even like know. army rangers yeah they were army rangers that's what it was yeah they yeah. were army rangers in some random desert nobody they don't explain why they're in this desert looking for oh okay no they were looking for another group of rangers but like they didn't explain what those rangers were yeah yeah <laughs> yeah they dead ass they dead ass, look that's the thing right that's the thing i was um thinking about like if you took out the army like or here's the thing you could have because the way they set it up was they had like the beginning where they're on the ship going to the new world and i'm like okay that's, yeah that's what I was, like, I was like oh that's cool like it's it's kind of it's monster hunter new world type shit like yeah. it's combining monster hunter themes yeah. with the sand boat that's cool yeah <laughs> well no did you know that apparently it's a sequel to monster hunter world uh, like, like apparently right yeah, um, <laughs> yeah. and i'm like <laughs> bro what are you sure because i was like okay there's a lot of stuff that was in monster hunter world in that movie right yeah because like, like the sand boat that's like what three ultimate yeah 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 well, the same, so, well, yeah yeah, yeah, yeah so right it was here. like kind of like three ultimate beginning except instead of like the nibble snarf or whatever or leviathan i can't remember what it's been so long since i played that Did you it was nibble like snarf yeah bro the nibble, nibble snarf, snarf. <laughs> <laughs> nibble snarf. <laughs> it was like it was Diablos, which it was like two Diablos looked like it was attacking the boat. Yeah, I thought. Yeah, it looked like there was more than one. But yeah, I, and then I, they I, were just like, okay, enough of the Monster Hunter stuff. Here's Mila Jovovich. Yeah, so, <laughs> speaking, like 45, 50 minutes of her almost doing nothing. Almost <laughs> doing nothing, and then yeah. like yeah, so then this mysterious cloud shows up. They get isekai into the Monster Hunter world for no apparent reason. Nobody explains why. And uh, her fucking her crew gets annihilated in like two minutes. Ti yeah. Ti closes his eye that's looking down the scope, so that was really cool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, look, put it this way: like, wait, Ti the... was in the movie. Yeah, yeah Ti was yeah. in the movie. Yeah, did he shave his beard? No, I didn't shave my beard. Wrong. He shaved something <laughs> else. Wait, who shaved <laughs> what beard? <laughs> well, me and Travis both shaved our beard, Tyler. Yeah. So. <laughs> Yeah. Nick shaved his, and I felt like I needed to as well. <laughs> oh, yeah, true. Me too. Um, it started with but... a mustache trim and a beard trim, and then I scalped a <laughs> chunk out of the side of my face. <laughs> <laughs> so then I had to match it, because there was a giant hole in my cheek. <laughs> Sad. I just wanted to trim it down a little bit, you know, make it look a little bit fresh and clean, and then all of a sudden it was like, oh, just kidding. Yeah, you're still <laughs> degenerate. It doesn't matter how fresh and clean you look. <laughs> has doesn't matter at all whatsoever gonna rub my bald ass head on the side of your head <laughs> do it bro <laughs> but yeah so also hellboy being in the movie like where the fuck did that come in? Yo, he was like he was like speaking english i was like oh and yeah he goes, she goes like oh so you can speak the language of my people and he goes like yeah and that was yeah. it and i was like okay. yeah he's just like yeah yeah you're yeah, sure again <laughs> And it was like so corny and stupid to even have him in that movie. <laughs> yeah, I was like, I mean, look, I'd say that the actors tried, and I'll give them that. And like, like I said, when they finally, after an hour of the movie of just being Mila Jovovich, they yeah. finally fight a monster. It was cool. It did look cool. The, no, it didn't. The Diablos did look sweet. And then it was another like half hour before anything interesting happens, and then they fight the what's it called the rathalos that was pretty sweet and then they get isekai back to earth so then now now it's going to be like monster hunter monsters attacking earth yeah it's like a double it's a double reverse isekai or something like that it's just like how can you make something with no plot bad (laughs) <laughs> or no general yeah no because i because right it's supposed to happen after world so i'm like oh what the fuck i'm like how does how the fuck does this even happen yeah, i mean it's just... yeah it's, it's um it's as you said right like the monster designs are cool like the Di- yeah diablos rathalos then there's silla then there's silla spiders or whatever yeah yeah uh, i think you said so, then there's silla and i was like oh then there's silla yeah, the silla spiders King Silo's Silo's attacking spiders. the hunters <laughs> <laughs> King Silo is actually the monster he's the true big bad of monsters <laughs> <laughs> but yeah so they they got everything the designs and all like the weapons and shit were like pretty spot on to like how yeah. monster hunter at least monster hunter uh the monster hunter world aesthetic yeah and then, but I, I didn't yeah. like how she uh 
<laughs> didn't have to like get a combo going for the demon mode for the dual blades, so that was stupid. I mean, there was a lot of <laughs> you want some chocolate, chocolate just pulls out just shameless like Hershey, Hershey oh, representation. Yeah. Also, like, <laughs> like that was kind of racist. I feel <laughs> why? like why did they treat this human being like an absolute fucking Neanderthal? Like they have boats they have technology they can make firearms they obviously have enough technology to build weapons and speak and build homes but they were acting like this guy was a complete freaking r word yeah <laughs> like, like why were they treating like this like the native <laughs> like he was a neanderthal yeah he's just like the did 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 he ever play any of the games they're normal humans like yeah. they know what things are. Well, I mean, it's probably it's probably because because doesn't Monster Hunter have its like own like unique language? It does, yeah. but like they're still treating him like he doesn't like know of worldly things. Yeah, you, you know, know what I mean. Like they have chocolate in Monster Hunter, I'm sure. Oh, <laughs> like, yeah, I mean they got cats. They got fucking the palicos just cooking food. Out yeah, here. they have. Yeah, exactly. They have like a whole food system. Like, <laughs> like they know what food is why are they treating him like water what's that yeah it's like, <laughs> it's like you want this oh like, chocolate I, I felt like it was kind of racist a little bit probably <laughs> probably i'm sorry if there are any neanderthals still out there yeah <laughs> <laughs> i mean put it this way is monster is overall is monster hunter uh oh and the 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 gormagala thing was pretty cool like oh yeah, in. yeah, yeah! At the very end, yeah, yeah that was yeah. kind of cool. Although they like in. took it out way too quick. Yeah, I mean that was kind of strange, but I mean, because they said there was going to be like sequels of some kind. Yeah. Oh, I'm sure. <laughs> there's going to be like seven of them if it goes oh, great. There's an evil route. Monster Hunter Seven. There's going to be more movies than there are games. What's yeah. going to last longer, Fast and the Furious or Monster Hunter? Oh God, I don't even <sighs> want to think about that. <laughs> that is something I don't think I want to think about. I feel like Monster Hunter is like even more niche than fast and the furious so <laughs> oh, yeah, for sure. oh, they'll always come as long as as long as like a new car is made yeah there's, there's definitely yeah. gonna be another fast and the furious movie right, song yeah. as long as there's still explosion effects <laughs> yeah yeah but um yeah as for the, like the isekai thing if i stuck the isekai like somewhere at the end like i'm saying like you could have just had the whole movie be about the hunter being the main character because he got mm-hmm. thrown off the boat had that yeah. whole shit play out, then they come to you know planet Earth or whatever the fuck they're on, yeah. and then they can do the whole isekai stuff then. And then that probably would have fit better for me. I don't know. The movie would have literally been better if Mila Jovovich just wasn't in it. <laughs> if they would have just focused on like the Monster yeah. Hunter portion of the movie, like yeah. with that guy being the main character, and like even with uh, <laughs> Hellboy, <laughs> like mm-hmm. even with him in the movie. Yeah, her husband was the director. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yep. That's that's why. That's pretty much it. Yeah, <laughs> like it, the yeah. movie would have just been better if they would have just made the Monster Hunter portion of the movie and left her out of it. <laughs> yeah, like you had a lot to deal with. I'm pretty sure you could have gotten a big storyline that still ends with you fighting the Rathalos or maybe taking on Gormagala without like they, any of the Ranger stuff. Yeah, like it, they could have made it like this. Like he gets he gets knocked off that boat. He's stuck in the desert. He has to fight his way back to like his people, uh-huh. and in the on the way, he has to fight the Diablos. He he kills it. He gets back, and then all of a sudden, like some kind of isekai thing happens with that tower, and they end up going to the like our world. That would have yeah. that's a, already a better plot. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, exactly. So I don't know. Then again, I'm not a director. I don't make this shit. So. Maybe it wouldn't have been received well if you put the Ranger stuff at the end. Or just kept it out entirely. I don't fucking know. Maybe they just wanted to make it more relatable to, like, a Western audience or something. Yeah, well... I guess. <laughs> I mean, I don't know why, though. But, yeah. So Sounds like Digimon to me. Like, mm-hmm. Digimon was better, sir. <laughs> yeah, Digimon is... Digimon's better. the best isekai. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Here's the thing, right? Like, overall, is it a fun movie? Sure. Yeah. Could you turn your brain off to it yeah. and have a good time? Because the action scenes are fantastic. Yeah. In, for most of the part. When right? they do happen. Yeah, right. Yeah. But is it good? Yeah. No. Not, not even close. Yeah. Um, I don't think so. Anyway, I'm sorry. We'll take up that time. Yeah. Just sorry. Like, sorry, Travis. <laughs> yeah, sorry, Travis. 
technically you made me you. never want to watch that movie yeah, trust me i think we did you a favor <laughs> play the games yeah, i think you'll be all right not watching I, I was gonna pretend like it's like to make you talk me into watching it and then immediately yeah. i was like no nah, i don't care. no 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 <laughs> if you, you paid you... me money i could talk you into it but like for free i couldn't <laughs> nah, you know, if you, if i'll you just give me i'll give you your money back to shut the hell up <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, just sitting here sure. listening to it now made me want to go drink bleach. <laughs> if it's like if you find it on like Crackle or something for free, nah, I'm good. Yeah, you can go, free, yeah. go watch it there. <laughs> Hard pass. Uh, yeah, I spent money to rent it so you didn't have to. Yeah, it's five dollars. Give it back to me. I want to talk about Sleeper Isekai. So I'm a spider. So what is pretty damn good. There yeah, you go. actually, that's. Probably yeah, it's it's definitely one of the top shows this season for me. Sorry, Travis never heard of it. Too. Shut up, yes you did. <laughs> <laughs> the motherfucker that was literally like hyping up that show since it began. That, that's my favorite. Show. <laughs> that's, that's one of my favorite so shows good. of the season. Because it's so good, and and it's like it's staying pretty true to the uh, like to light novel stuff. So I didn't read the light novel, as you could tell yeah. from our conversation earlier. I I didn't read all of it, but I read like I read far enough. Mm-hmm. Like with the with the manga and everything, so I uh, I haven't seen a lick of that show, and I don't think I will. Why? So I'm missing oh, because you're not. It's because it's not edgy enough for you. Yeah, it's not. Listen, it's not man, edgy. you you say that like again. I've said this a couple episodes ago. We watch the same shit. Hi, sometimes. my name's Tim, and I only watch niche <laughs> shows. Yeah, right. <laughs> I only watch it if like four people watch it. That's it. Yeah, my favorite my favorite show is actually Berserk 2016. I'm sorry. No, you said that last time. Shut up. I only, well, I'm just I reiterating only... the facts here, okay? <laughs> just so issuing bad. the car facts. What do you want me to do? <laughs> Get rid of it. Get rid of car facts. <laughs> Trade it in for a new one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. Berserk, the 2012 movies. Right no, that's even worse. <laughs> I actually feel like the 2012 movies, though. Or the, the no, movies. no, no, they're, they're definitely better than 2016. Tim's, Tim's taste in anime these days makes me want to jump off of a roof. <laughs> I, all I had to do was make I make successors in being degenerates. I've done my job. I can just wither you away. You did a good job. I did. I fucking, I turned you into a, a fucking, a, show, to a, a shoujo. To magnet. a, to a garbage can. <laughs> probably worse than a garbage can. <laughs> garbage can is not, is too fitting. Hey, Wonder Egg Priority. Yeah, see? Thank you. Me and Tyler keep up with Wonder Egg Priority. That show's pretty good. Yeah. Uh, but, like, but, I, I, but, like, I take Tyler's taste and stuff. Like, mm, like, uh... <laughs> <laughs> He's like, well, Tyler's like, you're telling me to watch this? Licks a bunch tell, of salt. Mm, I don't know. <laughs> tell Tyler to pull up his fucking manga decks and you'll just see that it's all isekai. <laughs> yeah. Same with his, uh, the, the same with his that, Dropbox. The fact that the fact that he likes Wonder Egg Priority makes me wonder, like, is it an isekai? What it... <laughs> I mean, technically, it kind of is. Yeah, see? <laughs> kind of. I mean, it follows some of the some of the traits of one. Yeah. Uh, I think she's just delusional <laughs> and having nightmares. Oh, who knows? I mean, that's the thing, though. Like, we've been debating that. We just, we're not too entirely sure. Uh, I'm delusional but... and wanting to live. You're just delusional. <laughs> 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 no, but <clears throat> well, that, I mean, this is like one of the topics, right? Because I wanted to kind of broach back upon Isekai because I know we did last episode, right? Mm-hmm. But there is so the reason I bring this up again now is because with Re Zero, um, doing the Re Zero thing, it's kind of Isekai because they fight in Dream Worlds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, that's that's what I'm saying because they're fighting in different realms essentially at yeah, Dream Realms. Yeah, one on Wonder Egg priority. Yeah, so you can yeah. essentially say it has like isekai like elements to it. I wouldn't yeah. say it's like a full blown isekai, like you know, yes, Sao right. or shit like that. Michelle yeah. Potente. Um, anyway, with a uh, ReZero kind of doing its thing right now, I think um, I think we're gonna have to talk about like when it comes to isekai now, because I think ReZero is pretty much going to set a golden standard for how like people would like to have like an isekai play out not like totally in story but like when people like watch isekais probably you know in the future Mm -hmm. it'll be like oh yeah you know this isekai is pretty good this isekai is pretty good Uh, but it's not as good as re-zero though right you know what i mean yeah right right yeah i I feel like i feel like it's setting uh 
a bar pretty high. I, I feel like it's setting a pretty specific bar too. Yeah, because I mean, like if... the, the emotional range of the characters, like not even just Subaru's character alone, like mm -hmm. the subtle stuff, like how we saw in uh, Mathers, like last episode, the most recent episode, like even stuff like that, like it was such a subtle, like that eye twitch that he was doing, like that's such a subtle thing to see, but uh it, like it was just it, like it was just good like it was just good quality anime <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah i mean so it's like it's, i wish i had like a diagram this would be like the benefit of us being together in one room so we just like draw this diagram but mm -hmm. it's like i said right like for me it's like when it comes to anime i would judge it based on like three different things right it's like music visuals storytelling if two of these things are relatively bad. Nah, man, because storytelling's and... always got to be there. Like, some of them, like, it, it's got to be at least no, above man, it average. Just... It's got to be at least above average. I don't give a shit if it looks good, if it's just painly, painfully bad. No, no, that's the thing, right? Because One Punch Man has, like, no fucking story to it. <laughs> yeah, but it's, got, <laughs> a, but it's got enough of a story to keep you interested. But if the story's just bad, like, the story writing's just bad, even if it has good music and good anime, it's still going to suck. I mean, I shouldn't say, like, bad story. Like, I'm saying, like, because I say it sucks, in terms, I guess, of it sucks, I'm just saying it doesn't come up to like, the standards of the other two things. Like, Berserk. Just painfully hard to watch, because the story writing's terrible. Okay. <laughs> I think, <laughs> yeah. yeah that's, I, think that's, I think that's all we wanted to do, is just kind of just throw that joke out there. <laughs> no, I'm just being serious, though. No, the, I, think, I think the story writing is, for Berserk, is, it, is mm. good, but it's kind of niche. It's super niche. Yeah, it's super niche. Like, you have to be, like, into that style of, like, dark fantasy. You just have to, like, yeah, you just have to, like, yeah. dark fantasies in general to... Yeah, to, like, to really get into Berserk, especially, like, that style of dark fantasy. It's a little... It's a little different. Yeah, it's, pretty, it's pretty, like, brutal. I'd, yeah. I'd say it's Sadly, brutal. uh, ReZero is setting just anime quality bar for a lot of stuff. Mm, yeah, like... You think? I, th I think so. Yeah, I mean, I agree with Tyler Kip, on that. come on. The, these last, like, this last, like, year and a half, the bar's been set way too high. As soon as, like, a I, season shits the bed, people are gonna be pissed off. Like, well, yeah. Like, what are you I, saying? I think... well, are you saying, like, if any anime sucks, though, they're just gonna immediately think, No, oh, no, no, well, I mean, like, if a season shits the, shit the bed, like, ReZero and, like, a bunch of other shows have just set the anime bar way too high all of a sudden. Well, that's the thing, right? I mean, you have to think about how it was, like, how many years ago? Like, like eight years ago, right? We didn't have that many It wasn't even eight shows. years ago. It was, like, four. No, no, no. I'm just saying before the before the time of, like, ReZero, right? I mean, we talked about this. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, there's going to be plenty of anime that set that standard, right? Like, Attack on Titan Season 1 through 3 is set, like, a fucking standard that... Man, imagine almost... if Eufotable gives up on Demon Slayer and lets somebody else handle it. Oh, oh god no. like studio <laughs> dean <laughs> Just studio dean and do it no but i but i do agree with tyler though i think re-zero is setting a bar not just for isekais but anime in general though as far as writing goes the the animation is good but it's not like i mean i've seen better animation you know what i mean there's yeah yeah it's out there right the, or like would like overlord season three where madhouse used half ass cg people rioted or attack mm -hmm. on titan when they use cg those are yeah. two good points yeah. yeah, no, that, that is because well, especially in Attack on Titan, like season four, right? Like, or like when you go back and rewatch Naruto now, and you see like putty hand weirdos in the background. <laughs> <laughs> putty hand. Yeah, but okay, so I think that's like the, the whole um the whole like blow up of people being more into like the technical aspects of animation, and so like yeah. when they see like something like an in between frame or some shit like that. I think it's because that. people don't have anything else to do nowadays, and they have the time <laughs> to look at these things in slow motion. I mean, my yeah, sister, yeah. like my sister, my whatever writer whatever that show was writer. that was just fucking terrible the entire way through like the animation was garbage the entire <laughs> way through like if one episode takes a day off and then like the next episode's a big fight and yeah. they blow my fucking top off go right ahead i wish you'd blow your top off i'll blow my top mm. off right in front of you daddy <laughs> oh boy i want a lifetime experience oh, baby. <laughs> no i get it yeah and and going to like the uh uh the point in overlord right yeah i remember people making the stink about that but i'm not too sure if they made like a huge stink about it maybe because people didn't really 
watch Overlord in general? I'm halfway through Overlord season three right now. I'll let you know when I come across the half ass CG. You know, you, it'll, it's literally, it'll just stick in your face. And you know what? Goblin Slayer is guilty of that too. Because. Yeah. You know, but I'm Slayer okay will... with it if it's every once in a while. It's... I mean. Uh-huh. You can go on. That's all my point was. <laughs> I mean, like Goblin Slayer had some janky CG at some points, but it was like I, I feel like I don't even know because like is the writing even that good on on Goblin Slayer or is it just it's just it's just it's just is it just shock value? It's just it's uh what's it called? Um, I want to say Edge Lord, but I feel like there's a better term for that. It's just shock value, really. Like, yeah, it's, it's just, just edgy. Yeah. yeah. It, it, so is like, is the writing that good to make up for it, or is it just the shock value was that good to make I up think, for it? I think it's kind of like the shock value hits first because you don't expect it to. Because remember, like when episode one aired and people were freaking the fuck out about yeah, it. Yeah, right. People who didn't read the the manga were yeah. like. What? Yeah. When, like, <laughs> when like the goblins are just like uh, really starting to tinker around with other people <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. like That's right when, when nice, they open up nice their toy shop to yeah when they drag people back to their toy shop so it's like it, yeah that that episode had people really fired up right and then but then like as the shock factor wears off you kind of just like how it's kind of like a power fantasy in a weird way because goblin slayer is technically like an npc character mm-hmm. right because they have characters like the hero character Right. Like it was like a Dragon Quest or some shit, and yeah. then Goblin Slayer is just technically the side character who just is fucking. He just he's just slaying goblins. goblins, yeah. Yeah, he's just so, slaying goblins. Yeah, that's basically what it is. Yeah, but he's and, not but slaying like, Hoon, so it doesn't really matter, huh? He could be though. He could be. I mean, because apparently he's a handsome dude. Yeah, homeboy's like a battle scarred like. And he can girl guy. wants him. I was gonna say, yeah. neighbor girl has some mommy milkers, and he's just like. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, his uh, childhood friend girl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The, the childhood friend that always gets left behind. Yeah. That's how it always works. <laughs> yeah, don't uh, quote me on it, but I could have sworn I saw somewhere or someone mentioned it. Um, is when they said I think they're trying to animate like Goblin Slayer Zero. Don't quote me on that. Explain what that if is. If they do, that'd be nice. Huh? I said, can you explain what that is? So Goblin Slayer Zero is basically just the events that pretty much made goblin slayer the person he is yeah like <clears throat> like all the adventures he took before i think he started showing up to the adventures guild yeah oh. it's like so, basically a prequel yeah it's essentially that's a prequel. Yeah. i think that's one of speaking of isekais has anybody watched the new season of long horizon because i watched the first episode yeah. and i was like i have no, no because... fucking clue what's no. happening and i don't care no because i didn't like log horizon to begin with Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so this actually brings up no, this brings up an interesting point. This is so hear me out, right? This is kind of that one point I brought up where sometimes the hype won't carry a show if it's not big enough. Yeah. I feel like Log Horizon's like one of those. I really liked the first season. The second season was okay, but I don't remember what happened at the end of it. And I'm not gonna go back and rewatch it. Well didn't it air like way way long ago? Yeah, a long time ago. Yeah. yeah, like it wasn't too long after like Sao, like Sao's part two, season one aired. Yeah, like Log Horizon was way, it took way too long, and that show, like I don't even, I don't think the hype was big enough to carry that. Too, I didn't like, know it was fifty episodes span. before this. Oh yeah, I mean it went on um, for a bit. I mean it was popular when season, it was season like, season aired. one aired from two thousand thirteen to two thousand and fourteen, and okay. season two aired from. 2014 to 2015 so it's been six yeah. years since then yeah, it's, been, it's, been, it's been six years and to me it's just like so the it's one, kind of one of those forgotten anime yeah, the, that like, when like people when they announced like a new season of it it was just like who cares? Uh, when uh, that <laughs> when that when they turn that npc and the only thing i remember from that show is when they turn that npc into a real character with world magic and that's literally the only part that i remember of that anime hmm yeah, I don't remember too much of Long Horizon. I just remember, like, it being... I mean, I remember liking it, right, from what I've seen. And I, I remember people get saying into it. it. Yeah, 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 no. I it's kind of totally it's kind of slow. Well, mm-hmm. well, yeah, it's kind of slow, and, like, I don't know. I was just kind of comparing it to other similar shows in its genre. And I was like, I would just rather watch those. Like, yeah. I mean, I, people, feel this, I kind sure. of feel that way about Overlord, though. I feel like Overlord's kind of slow. Like the... well, yeah. 
See, yeah. with Overlord, like I I enjoyed season one of season one and two of Overlord, just kind of like because it was like uh, I like the OP characters shtick, and he was like kind of and he wasn't himself great, either though. Like he was isekai as a fucking but like but like kind of after they introduced everybody, I kind of just like once all the introductions of all his team and everything was kind of done, I just like kind of stopped caring <laughs> about mm. the rest of it. Yeah. Uh, overall, it's like it's cool that Log Horizon's back, right? Like, I'm, I'm not saying it's like a bad thing, but it's just like, yeah, it's as I've said, it's like the opposite end of the spectrum of let's say, you know, Zero Attack on Titan. Yeah. It's been so long, and people are just like, the eh. the only thing I'm hoping for is now that they're doing this like old anime, never got a second season resurgent, maybe I'll get another season of the Asterisk War. Uh, I mean, who fucking knows? You know, but who you know, knows? who knows? But you know what? Devil's a part timer. Got a season fucking two. So know, and, and the whole entire, the whole entire. Yeah, which means that I don't have to fun. give up hope, yeah. dude. It's possible. The very hey, the, the last hey, Kobe, volume is Kobayashi. Kobayashi's Dragon Maids just got a season two. Yeah, and the trailer was pretty nice too. Yeah. The trailer was pretty good. The last I... volume of the Astro War just got released in 2019. So maybe Tyler the says. Announced. My reaction was, holy shit, Log Horizon's coming back. And then I watched one episode and was like, uh, what's going on? Yeah, a, a lot of shows go through that, right? Like, but, a lot of shows have that issue. Where... Like, they didn't even pick up with, like, a... I, I would have been perfectly fine with a recap episode in this case. For once in my life, I was asking for a recap episode. <laughs> like, you know, like, just tell me what's going on. It's been 900 years. And then they open it <laughs> up with characters that I don't even remember who the fuck they are. And they're like, oh, yeah, you're getting married. And I was like, oh, cool. I don't care. <laughs> But I feel like that's what's gonna happen with Devil as a part timer too. I've I mean, just that's rewatched not really that a show where you really need to know what's going on. But like, I feel like ah. it's been so long; it's gonna be like. It's like the <laughs> end of the first season, though, ended with um, like a it was like a tide turning like development, like something like that. Yeah, like the feelings started to change towards each other, and then I was like, "Oh, cool, this will be really good," and then nothing ever came after that. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it felt like it was open. It was like one of those open-ended things for me where I was like, okay, happy. I wish they get a second season at the time, but we never got one. And then, like, eight years later, that's a thing, right? It's like, it's how you feel in that moment. Like, right. you want a season two, but, like, yeah, eight years is a very long fucking time, yeah. you know? It's so. it's really got to, like, stick with you. You know what I mean? Like, the yeah. show's really got to stick with you for you to, like, eight years later be, like, really excited for a season two. Mm -hmm. A lot of easy that guys show... don't stick with me, though. Yeah, that show's kind of not one of them, but like I'll watch season two when it comes out. But like, like you said, like eight years, eight years has gone by, and it's like, yeah, you won't really have the same feelings towards. Yeah. I mean, at least maybe they won't be as strong, but who knows? Let me, if you, it's as you say, if if someone has followed it for a long time, right? That, that could be a different answer, right? They could okay. be like, oh yeah, holy shit, it's actually season two, all that stuff. Right? But also, but, but also. Yeah. Uh -huh just a thought that came to my mind yeah maybe also for the average anime viewer it's an exciting thing because sure we as a group like us three and and you know some of our friends we watch a lot of anime <laughs> <You're> right, right. <laughs> we, so like we go through a lot of anime especially travis like no i actually don't watch it that much anymore well not anymore but i'm just saying like we go through a lot of anime we go through a lot of content so like for us to keep something like that fresh in our mind and the excitement like that fresh in our mind i feel like it's more difficult for some for for somebody like us i just rewatched mm -hmm. ara Ferretta not that long ago because he was just stupid op and i watched a clip and i was like holy shit that was actually kind of it looked terrible but it was i was like that's actually kind of cool so i watched that again and then I went back through and rewatched all of Kenjo no Mago. Man, I remember really liking the manga, Wait, and I just remember Kenjo watching the anime. Wise oh, Man's, man's Grandchild. Oh, see, yeah, I yeah. hated the anime. I, I did too. The so, so actually, the, the, you yeah. watch it the second time; it's actually not that bad. Like if you, if you <laughs> see, if you, I couldn't even watch it the first. If time, you take it as so. just a, <laughs> if you just take it as like an OP isekai that was okay, it's not yeah. that bad. I don't like isekai anime. It's always weak. Says the man who watches almost all the isekai that ever comes. <laughs> okay. And also, I have watched about 50 shows. Yeah, yeah I mean, just, that's a lot, though. I, yeah, I feel like 50 is above average, for sure. Because, yeah, like, there's some people out there that only watch the big three. I've watched over 400, and I hate myself for it. 
Because <laughs> it's a bad, it's, it's a badge of pride you don't want to wear. Because uh, I, because I say about like maybe like a tenth of it I can actually retain at this point in my life. Right, right. <laughs> <clears throat> I mean, yeah. I don't know. I don't know like the exact number of shows I've watched. I know it's a I stupid amount. Know. I know it's a stupid amount. I but... only know because yeah. I just got back into my anime list. So, yeah, I mean, fucking, I don't. I, okay, I mean, it's fine to browse like Mal, right? If you want, but I'm, I'm, I think at some point you just have to stop giving a shit about. Oh, I did. TV I shows. just never bothered yeah. again because, like, what's the point? Yeah, because there's mad people out there that are like, oh, yeah, I better add this to my watch list. And I'm like, once you fucking, <laughs> once you dive you through, like, all the popular shows, there's no point. Because, yeah. like, all the recommend recommendations they're going to give you were, like, the popular ones. You know how I many, mean, like, shows I've added to my to watch list that I've just never watched? You just never watch, yeah, like, there's no point <laughs> if, you're, if you're not even going to optimize, like, how you want to use it, right? Yeah. So you might as well just, it's basically, you just have to run off, like feeling right it's like, just like back in watch. the day like back in the day like maybe around like 2013 2014 when i was using my anime list really heavily i guess i yeah. would use the two watch list oh yeah like, yeah uh, but at some point where it just got to like i put so many shows in and out of that list that like travis said like i just stopped caring <laughs> and i just right. never updated it ever again at this point so i can I'm... only imagine how many shows i've watched since i've stopped using my anime list <laughs> Right. At this point, if I want a victory lap, I'm gonna victory lap. And... Yeah, oh, I mean, yeah. yeah, you'll just say fuck it. I'll just, I'll just run through. I'll just run through it again. Like, like Overlord, I'm... I love a good, I love a good victory lap. Overlord, mm -hmm. I'm victory lapping, and when things aren't going like interesting enough that I want to see it, or I feel like it's not as important as it, like they made it out to be, yeah. then I just skip through it, and then I right. get to the point that I want to see again. Like it's not a big yeah. deal. <clears throat> yeah. 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 Or the... sometimes like I'll want like I'll get like a show like an older shows like opening stuck in my head so then i'll right, watch right. like five or six episodes of it and, and put it put it back down but put it back yeah. you're like all right this is good i remember all the yeah like oh, okay like i remember what happened like <laughs> uh, i got the i scratched the itch like yeah yeah, yeah like yeah. how many times have i watched like the first four episodes of trigon i don't know a million and a half <laughs> <laughs> good for you because how much i watch the rest no nah, i've much. only watched trigon once hey like, sometimes that's all you need honestly like but sometimes you can only watch it once and that's that's good that's how I feel about Toradora, anyway. Like, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah. So, like, well, sometimes you'll just want to watch it once. I mean, sometimes you don't want to watch it twice because you're like, oh, I don't want to have like, because you have to look at you have to look at it under a critical eye now, right? Yeah. So you have to be like, damn, I don't want the original feeling that I had for it to go away. Yeah. Sometimes, but I mean, I know there. Are, I know, I know you've said that you're like, ah, oh, fuck it, I'll watch it again. It's whatever. I'll probably yeah. still like it, right? Yeah, yeah, but I but I do get what you're saying though. Like there are yeah. some of those shows that are like kind of magical that, like you don't want to like, you don't want to go back and watch it and realize that it wasn't as good as it was the first time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it 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 just it just be like that sometimes. Yeah. Um, Tyler oh, says, "Oh, you're allowed to victory lap, but once you rewatch Naruto for the ninth time, I'm the crazy person." No, that's not. A, that's not. No, you're not. That's, that's not a victory lap. That's a fucking. That's yeah. a torture chamber you're putting yourself in. <laughs> Tyler's running the Boston Marathon on repeat with that one. Yeah, so but just... like, but like, are you watching all of Naruto for the ninth time, or are you just going to like a specific part of Naruto and watching it? Sometimes that's I think good. it's a specific part that happens. I mean, sometimes I, I feel like that's fine. Yeah. Who'd want to fight Darth Vader or Jesus? Jesus. Darth Vader. Darth yeah, Vader. Darth Vader. And Darth Vader. Evil Jesus. I mean, I mean he basically, wait, 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 he wait, basically wait. is Jesus of Star Wars. Wait, hold on. Wait, does, Jesus, wait, does, but does, does he come back every third day? Because then... Is this... <laughs> yeah, right. Is this post or pre-resurrection Jesus? <laughs> well, that's what I'm saying. Like, are you getting... <laughs> Are you... <laughs> yeah, like what are we? Yeah, what are we? What are the specs? What are the specs yeah. here? Because if if we're going like, yeah, Jesus, if <laughs> pre-resurrection, what well, doesn't matter? Because if Darth Vader offs him, he'll just, he'll just come well, back. And no, post-resurrection, Jesus is just the spirit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's the force. He's just literally the force. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, just... <laughs> All right. Uh, maybe... it, depends, it depends on who has the high ground. Yeah, oh shit. Oh then Jesus. Because Jesus will have the high ground. <laughs> yeah, sorry man. Jesus is definitely gonna have the high ground on that. <laughs> and to, to what you asked Tyler, when I rewatch Naruto, even if I start at the pain arc, I always somehow end up finishing the entire series. 
False. Jesus is a pacifist, therefore he would teach Darth Vader to love. He would not fight, instead they would become friends. Maybe. I mean, yeah, but a Palpatine show... tried to teach Darth <clears throat> Vader to love, and that just turned him evil. Did he? Winky face. I don't remember that. <laughs> probably, gave him the, <laughs> probably gave him the dirty touch. Star oh, Wars alternate timelines. We don't need the, we don't need no dirty touches. Man. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, you know, no, I get I get what you're saying though. Like yeah. I well also I think the pain arc's probably like really good to rewatch because it's just <clears throat> a lot of cool shit happens and that's like when Naruto finally starts like being badass instead mm -hmm. of just like, I'm gonna do good eventually. <laughs> yeah. You know what? You know what you should do? Just start all the way at the very last episode of Shippuden and just work your way back down to the first episode. <laughs> no. That's Benjamin Button. Benjamin Button? Yeah, just Benjamin Button. Yeah, the <laughs> no. Benjamin Button run. No. That's terrible. Uh, you can only do that if you watch all the films. I feel like you we're trying to get converted to Christianity at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're trying to be Jedi Knights. <laughs> so yeah i mean sometimes yeah because like when people when it comes to long running series you'll just watch like moments mm. um necessarily you want to you won't really go and watch maybe maybe sometimes you'll watch whole arcs uh whole sagas perhaps but yeah mainly it'll just be down to the cool clips that happened mm -hmm. um, yeah like i like, like I, I always go back to like um uh like dot hack like i i've mm -hmm. i've watched like probably like the first 12 to 15 episodes like i don't know 10 times <laughs> you know what i mean in, in in my lifetime but like always because it has just a, such a banger soundtrack that that's just one of the shows that i can have on like in the background while i'm doing other shit yeah yeah I, that's what it, it just becomes like white noise at some point yeah <laughs> you just have it on yeah just be yeah. background filler. <clears throat> um but yeah it because it's like i'll do that with um I'll do that with One Piece a lot. I'll just kind of like skip around on like really cool moments, mm -hmm. and then I'll just go to then, YouTube for that, like the compilation of every time the Luffy used Conqueror's hockey. <laughs> uh, shit, when he knocks out like the fifty some thousand with Fishman or think, whatever. Yeah, he knocked. I think there was like a hundred thousand of them, even though there was like a hundred on the it. screen, and he knocks out fifty thousand of them at once. That's yeah. why One Piece is bad. Or when he knocked the fuck out of the bad. Celestial Dragon. <laughs> Oh, that's a really cool moment, to be honest. That's, like, a really cool animated moment as well. He's, like, movie chumps, dad. He's, like, move chump. Wait, what? Movie it's chumps. Move, you degenerate. You know, the Tyler can't spell. God. Oh, my God. <laughs> Damn autocorrect. You guys are ruining the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Watch the fucking YouTube video podcast. <laughs> um... Speaking of, but going back to like, <clears throat> going back to like Isekai, right? So last episode, I'm kicking myself in the ass because the one show that I think I forgot to mention in depth, remember when we were talking about how like getting Isekai'd into like your favorite world could just not be a good idea in most cases? Mm -hmm. Yeah, like it's probably not. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, so I know, I know this is not, I don't, I don't know if you've seen it, Nick, but the fucking the show I forgot to mention was Grimgar Fantasy and Ash. Oh my yeah, god, yeah, yeah. that no, one like that, show. that yeah. one dude yeah. got yeeted out of a, out of existence. Yeah, oh, so, yeah, yeah. yeah. So no, Tra about... Travis actually turned me on to that show. Yo, so Grimgar Fantasy and Ash, the thing about that is is like that's literally how normal people would be, maybe, if you yeah. put them into because like their memories are wiped and they just get sent to this new world and they're like, Okay, time to survive. That's, yeah. That's yeah, but it. like, There's why one. did they? But are our memories getting wiped or not? Though but that's the thing. That's but that's the mystery of it all. Because like, they don't know why they're there, so they have to live as if they're they're new to this world, and they just have to adapt to it. But that's what makes it interesting. See, that's, because that's fair. But did you, did you watch the most recent episode of Slime yet either? Which is a similar situation. Yeah. Where uh, he fought against where they ended up coming across three other welders, which are Isekai people. And the demons of that world just fucking fucked on all these three other worlders, and they were isekai but all they got was, like, one power. So they had yeah, well, real they, big they had powers. They just got cocky with their powers because they thought their powers were, like, better than, everybody better than they actually were. And then Slime's lieutenants just showed up and were like... LOL, no, JK. You're gonna die now. <laughs> <laughs> Remember that magical shield you put around us and weakened yeah. us? We're outside that now, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Let you know. 
This is what's happening. But uh, Grimgar Fantasy and Ash is actually relevant to Log Horizon for me, what we were talking about earlier, <laughs> because that's one of the reasons why I didn't like Log Horizon was because I just got done watching that show. <laughs> mm-hmm. And that show has like uh like some pretty like uh I guess like deeper moments in it. Mm-hmm. And then I started watching Log Horizon. I was just like this is boring. <laughs> like yeah. nobody's, nobody's crying. <laughs> yeah, like I mean Grimgar was more just like an Isekai slash drama. Yeah, yeah. You guys do another random anime watch. I mean it do you want us to see I liked that segment because okay. it was my idea. Stella, are you gonna watch it with us? Didn't like that because sometimes suffering just goes to extremes. <laughs> I said I I vote yes. I vote yes. We do do another random anime watch, but these two turds, it's up to them. Well, okay, we, put, okay, wait, okay, wait, okay, wait, okay. wait, wait. The problem is we were getting a random anime from Kiss Manga or Kiss Anime. Oh yeah, Kiss Anime. That's where we were getting it. Maybe so, Stillo, if you can maybe head us up with, like, a good way to get new random anime. We'll just let Stillo pick for us. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, then we'll then, just suffer that way. Then, yeah, I mean, I'm down to rest- I'm random down Random anime that generator. I'm, I'm just... down to start that segment again, if these guys are, but... Well, just remember that the selection we'll have is kind of limited. Yeah, now. right. Um, I'm pretty sure there's a bunch of shows that we haven't seen on Crunchyroll or Funimation or whatever. Mm-hmm. So yeah. maybe just a movie. But yeah, again, so I'm we can just down. do watch parties instead of watching. Did Darth movie. Vader and Jesus fight yet? Nah, not yet. <laughs> not yet. Um, we're waiting. We're waiting. So the yeah. I just <laughs> I just messed around with randomanime.org, and the anime that we got was Mushi Uta. I don't know what that is. <laughs> I've heard of it actually. Oh, okay, well, that's a no-go. If you heard of it, it's got to be one that none of us have heard of. Well, yeah, right? Because most likely, if none of us have heard of it, that has to be, like, buried in in the annals of time. Dave, who would win, Jesus or Vader? Yeah, Dave. Answer. (laughs) But, um, yeah, I'd be down to watch, like, maybe a random. Right. But, yeah, so that's, that's one of the reasons why, uh, we could do a we could do Why a random it? movie watch party night too. Yeah. Well, I don't know how, how the terms of service. Would well, go you don't. That. I wouldn't screen like I wouldn't screen share it. I just oh, true, put, yeah. we just sync up our times. Yeah, true. Bring back Netflix watch party. You can. It's a Google Chrome extension. Only if I get a camera. Well, you're fucked. Tim, go to work <laughs> and get your fucking camera, you degenerate. I think you would rather see this adoring face you see now rather than Bro, Ryan. We want to see your sweet nibbies. Oh, yeah, man. show oh, me your like sweet, that. supple nippies. Right, well, what I... <laughs> Every single anime that I've gotten on this generator has been one that I've seen before. Uh, Diabolic lovers, though, Tyler. You, I mean, okay, we can if you want. If it's... Yeah, only if Tyler wears my underwear while we watch it. Oh, <laughs> uh, I mean, on his face like Shimonetta. Yeah, I was gonna say yeah, you <laughs> <I> fucking will. <laughs> <laughs> fuck man uh, um what the fuck were we talking about <laughs> we were talking about <laughs> the reason why i didn't like log horizon <laughs> oh yeah no okay so like grimgar fantasy is, oh, grimgar fantasy and ash is cool right because <clears throat> essentially it's like yeah i could imagine somebody being thrown into that world and they see like a three foot tall goblin wielding a knife charging at them and they gotta be like i'm gonna die yeah right like that's me yeah that's like what we look kind of like what we were talking about last episode like you you would like to think like you would get isekai into some world and be this like badass dude with i don't know like a magical sword or whatever some kind of powers but like what happens when you just get isekai and you're a regular ass guy yeah you're not just just gonna be like oh yeah fuck it i'll fight this dragon (laughs) <laughs> yeah. yeah 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 i'll just fight this fucking mythical creature like i said before i'd get isekai into a fantasy world where i ended up with zero powers 
It's yeah. not fucking ogre orcs gonna run train on me in my friends. I like how you think you'll make it to the ogre orc. You'll get killed by a fucking slime. <laughs> yeah, it just does. I just hope it just head crawls head over every head. crevice. And just a level one rat comes out of the weeds <laughs> and bites you. And you get like, <laughs> I'd like you to dive th- like toxic. I'd like to think that since I'm taller than the average Japanese person and they write all these isekais, that I'd at least be able to stomp on a rat. Nah, man. Those rats no, are like because it's the isekai rat that shit's like up to your waist <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm just radicate just use hyper even radicate's not that big you liar radicate's no, big no <laughs> he's not you're thinking of rat dude radicate's a fucking monster rat <laughs> what do you even mean He's two foot four right, look, you know look this up look this up two foot four that's a big rat bro Jake dude, was like four, Jake was like four eight, eight. Who? Jake Waz was like four eight, so I think yeah, I okay. could take a two foot four rat. I could kick oh, really? it. So Jake could do a hyper fang on you. Is that a jug of apple juice? Yes. Yes, it is a jug <laughs> of apple juice. Yes, yes it is. <laughs> you would not be wrong. It's actually cranberry juice. I have a UTI. All right, Travis. Oh, what about my. a bull bat? <laughs> oh, it's just a mouth with wings. Yeah, bro, that head game strong. Mouth with wings. <laughs> would you? I mean, do you? <laughs> I mean, pretty much any Pokemon is going to fuck you up, right? Yeah. Like, I like how Travis thinks he's going to take on Eradicate. Eradicate? <laughs> just, <laughs> I'll just take... Like, Eradicate can learn, can learn Hyper Punch. I can take, I'll Eradicate. take my chances with kicking I Eradicate. I'll take chances you want to take. <laughs> I'll just use Takedown and rip you in half. <laughs> <laughs> just headbutt you and you... I prepared for this moment. Friends. What do you mean? And then, and then when you wake up after being knocked the fuck out by Hitmonlee, fucking <laughs> Golbat's gonna come Jeez. and fucking take Wait your ass a minute, away. Crobat's five eleven. The Crobat is That's my what I said. side. Yeah, Crobat is massive, dude. Yeah, like those are not the small fucking. Dogs. Yeah, but if you said Eradicate, I think I could take a two foot four Eradicate. Okay, but chance. even Golbat though, Golbat <laughs> is a five foot tall mouth with wings. <laughs> You're not wrong. <laughs> I'd like, let Jinx dot dot dot. Never mind. What? Not like a tongue was not good enough for you. Oh, man. <laughs> not. I'd let yes, I'd, I'd, I'd let Jinx do some things to me for sure. Oh yeah, yeah. Mister Mime was my go-to. Oh. oh. <laughs> you... <laughs> no, nah, dude. It's all about muck. Oh. Oh, that <laughs> is. Him. Your muck got them lumps, boy. No, man. Muck is gonna give me asphyxiation. I'm all for it. Yeah, Something but it ain't no right. Tentacruel, the hentai trash lord. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> I, think, I think Tentacruel, being at the mercy of Tentacruel, would be one of the worst things you could probably go through. That or, like, Haunter or Gang. There's any pickles Pokemon, really. I think that if I got Isekai'd, though, since I'm painfully average at everything I do, that I could survive for at least a week. Maybe if you stayed oh. in town. <laughs> you never spawn you in, never you never spawn in town when you get isekai let's be honest here well sometimes well yeah i mean it, yeah i guess i guess you're right if you're just in the woods somewhere you just wake up maybe well, depend- one person that's been isekai'd like- into a town remember when they called us- me <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I did call Tyler Hitmon. The fight. Yeah, I know. I, Tyler was like, "Is that joke still funny? Are you fucking serious? Not even that funny." I was like, no, the, fight, like, the fighting was, ankle." He was the, he was so mad pretending like that joke wasn't absolutely hilarious. Come on, like <laughs> it's not even being that bad being compared to Hitmon Lee, man. Like, Hitmon yeah, he's athletic. <laughs> he just happened to look like you know what I mean. He'd be another person that would kick my ass at an isekai, so I guess that's a compliment. <laughs> oh, him only with that ass kill you like it's yeah, you kick your top off dude you just <laughs> kick, you kick your face and your whole upper torso would rip off <laughs> it's just it's pretty much as wait a minute Pokemon him only is only four foot eleven i can take it oh now travis can take him because he's four foot eleven yes. yeah i'm sure jackie chan's like four foot eleven <laughs> 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 look that up go fact check that please oh my god i don't think is he four eleven no, I don't know. <laughs> He's probably <laughs> tall. I was gonna say he has to be like you know average, like five eight, five, five nine. foot Jet nine. Lee, I don't know somebody. But Jet Li <laughs> is five six. Bruce Lee is five eight. Jackie Chan is five nine. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, I mean, so their reach is within reason, but I could take a hit, Mon Lee. No, no, you could. <laughs> no way. Yeah. No, if you I saw don't. that, if you didn't know what a hit, Mon Lee was, and you saw that thing in the, like, you just. 
just in the out of nowhere, I would be like, I should stay away from that. Whatever that is. If Darth, if Jesus can convert Vader into friendship and love, I can convert Hitmonlee into friendship and love. <laughs> Jesus, Jesus is. No, because you're going to pull down your pants. That's not the kind of friendship and love Hitmonlee wants. <laughs> How do you know? Oh, I mean, he doesn't have underwear. any hands, so he can't even say no. <laughs> he does. It only has hands. Yeah, he just, it's he's just, just his all, specialty. He's just all leg. <laughs> he doesn't skip leg day. Motherfucker. And speaking of which, Jesus is uh, the ultimate shonen protagonist confirmed. So, <laughs> That's an easy guy character. He did it right. Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Man, is he though? Heard it here. I mean, y- yes. You could you could also always watch the show where him and uh, Buddha live in like a fucking apartment together. So is the Bible the book about the ultimate isekai? I mean, yeah, it's actually <laughs> just Roswell's book that he holds oh, all the God. time. Roswell, Marshall P. Mathers, Roswell. <laughs> Dude, I just think of, I just think of Eminem every time they fucking just say Roswell because it's like Roswell Mathers or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so I'm like, hmm. And like, Marshall Mathers, close enough. And like all of them have just a different <laughs> middle initial. That's about it. <laughs> <laughs> they just change middle initials. <clears throat> um, fuck. What are we, what are we talking about now? <laughs> yeah, I've, I've tangented it off. We've tangented it off so much. Oh my god, yeah. <laughs> we, uh, we, were, we were gone. Okay, okay. Grimgar Fantasy of Ash. Go watch it. The, I'm going to have to they, rewatch that now because they, I don't remember anything about it other than that one part that you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. So, the only gripe I have with it is that they fucking play they, they play the music like the actual OSD probably a little too much. Yeah. Like It just feels like I'm watching a music video at that point. I'm like, eh, we could do without that. I don't know. I'm okay with it, though. I don't know. I don't know what you're talking about. But like, it's, it's not that annoying, at least. Maybe. Maybe on rewatch it, it wouldn't be. But I don't know. I remember watching that. I was like, ugh. So I was like, I... It's cool and all, but like I, I could deal without it. What about Angel Beats? Was that an is- was that considered isekai or just he sad? Died and ended up in like heaven, like a. Weird... That's what I'm saying. Like, was that isekai or just sad? <laughs> yeah, weren't they like weren't they like in limbo or some shit? Like, wasn't that? Yeah, it was like or... some. Yeah, it was like limbo. Yeah. Oh, yeah. technically, uh, yeah, I, I guess. Yeah. Maybe I don't know, fuck. I can know. see that. Yeah. <laughs> I don't. I don't know. Yeah, that's 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 like one of those gray areas. <laughs> yeah. So, um, but yeah, and then going all the way back to where this whole fucking mess stemmed from, <laughs> it's ReZero essentially setting a fucking uh, a standard for isekais now. So it's like, yeah. and yeah, I know I, like, and but because in because of Angel Beats got Lisa, so it's a win. Yeah. Yeah. It is a win. Yeah, yeah that's a win. It it's is a win. win. For, win for music fans it's a win for music fans yeah <laughs> but uh did you see yeah, the I mean, trash I, I... taste podcast t- did an interview with lisa i did, did see I? that yeah yeah i mean they're getting like interviews with like a lot of people that's pretty cool to see. that's because they're so... all in japan well yeah that does help yeah, they all have really big platforms but i mean <laughs> yeah i mean it helps when you already have a platform before you make a podcast <laughs> <laughs> so yeah we're just like the uh we're just like that tiny little degenerate uh, the corner just yeah. fucking off but you know what that's fine so <laughs> yeah. we'll, just, we'll just keep doing our own thing yeah. we'll just keep jacking off in the corner here <laughs> 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 but um yeah like i think i think rezero is definitely setting like a standard i mean michelle Kotense is pretty good you know in comparison i do like michelle Kotense. yeah yes. i think that's, i think that's a really good show this season so far yeah, and according to you guys, um, so I'm a spider, so what is also pretty good. And slime. Yeah, so. yeah but spider, I don't think set any bars. <laughs> like right. it, so, it's good, but it's not set. Any I think bars. that just comes from strictly the fact that the story writing is really good. Yeah, the stories the in the the character like the character interactions are good, and and it's uh has good a good amount of comedy in it. Mm-hmm. It, it's not too like I was it gonna say. It, there's it doesn't a lot take of, itself seriously at all. There's a lot yeah. of internal conflict between the main character. Yeah. So seeing like the different voices fucking arguing with themselves inside yeah. her head is funny. Yeah. Her her, her mm-hmm. internal monologue is is very funny. Hmm. 
That's pretty good. The intro, the ending video is really good too. Yes, mm. that has that's the best ending this season, <laughs> easily. <laughs> I mean, I'll take your word for it, yeah, because I, I haven't seen a lick. Yeah. The MC has four brains, quadruple brain confirmed. Yeah, quadruple Quadru brain confirmed, and they all talk and argue with each other. <laughs> <laughs> quadruple multi galaxy brain confirmed. Yeah. All Chuny. Yeah. yeah. Chuny. It's, it's all Chuny all the time. Yeah. But is that necessarily a good thing? <laughs> so, I already know the answer is going to be a yes from yes, two, it's be a yes. Yeah, two or all of you. Yeah. Chun so, Chun Maru. Chun Chun. Now you know what that is, and I hate it. That's you don't know what it is. I don't. Wait, are you it's thinking? Kazuma's sword. Oh, yeah. Oh. Kazuma okay, okay, okay. Kazuma Suba isn't even that good. Yo, bro, shut up. Oh, bro. <laughs> oh my god. Well, first the berserk on it, then this. You would yeah, know. Christ. One more, and we have to quit. I'm gonna freaking shave his whole ass beard, dude. He's yeah. ugly as shit for making that comment. Just wax his whole <laughs> face. Like that. not even that good. Oh, Jesus, <laughs> fuck's wrong with you, man? Why are you so Someone, upset? Yeah, no, somebody mute me. this kid. Get him. This out is of here. my stream, damn it! <laughs> <laughs> cancel, cancel yourself, Travis. The fuck uh, <laughs> nah, but um. Or Travis fucking said that awful shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think so. I mean, like, this is in similar to the Attack on Titan thing to a lesser degree, I suppose. I think when people talk about, like, isekais, like, you know, the isekai genre 10, 15 years from now, like, in just terms of just anime, right? Let's not even talk about, like, the light novels, shit like that. Yeah. But just talking, like, just strictly for anime watchers, right? Deadass, they'll just be like, oh, yeah, you know, even if this isekai is super good and has a super cool premise. Remember when ReZero was a thing? That was super yeah, cool, right? Yeah. I feel like that's what it's going to be like from yeah. now on. Oh, I, yeah. know I, feel like, I feel like I feel like a lot of isekais in the future are going to have to step it up if they even want to be mentioned in the same conversation. Man, that's what I'm saying. ReZero is like, in terms of, I mean, yeah, in terms of, as I think as Tyler was saying right earlier, in terms of just general, animes to watch like ReZero already has a very high bar the writing that, is just so yeah, good that's, dude that's what i'm saying like the writing essentially not only carries the show but like the ba its back has to be hurting if it was a person right like, it, it, like i actually get mad when the episode's over you can't even tell the episode's over though you're sitting there like man this should be ending sooner then you look and there's still 20, 15 well, minutes left and then it ends and you're like fuck dude i didn't well even... that's well, well that's one of the the awesome things that that studio is doing too right now like they're really giving you the full 26 minutes of content probably more because they don't and have no, they do all 29 more. minutes because there's no opening or ending yeah, yeah, they like they play the, the they play the music during the end credits, but they still let the anime rock. Yeah, well, yeah, well, I think the I think the one episode was like twenty six minutes long. That's why I said that. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, but but yeah, like they're giving you the full episode length of content. There's no like flashbacks. There's no there's no opening or ending. It, it's just, like from the beginning to the end. It's pure content all the way. Yeah, there's. I can only think of like one other show that has done that, and the last time that show aired was like nine years ago. It's like uh, Shinseki Ori. I, I've already mentioned this before, but yeah. a while ago. But that's like the only other show that does that, where they no intro, and they had an outro, but like you know what I mean. Like no intro kind of speeds mm -hmm. things. Like it, it gives you like an extra minute or right. two. Yeah. Right, and no recap, so like you just catch. You get more, more, way more content, yeah. <clears throat> As I you think, said, I think Mishoko, Mishoko, eh, Mishoko Tensei is doing the no intro, right, Travis? Yeah, they're all. The, yeah. They do like a an opening song, and like they run the credits kind of through the opening. Yeah, it's kind of, it's kind of like a like a tame scene, like some like stuff like the episode's progressing, but like nothing important's going on. So it's kind of like, like how like ReZero does its endings, right? Yeah, basically, yeah. yeah. Except so. sometimes ReZero is like playing the ending music and you're like what i can't the episode can't be ending right now they're in the middle of a conversation what do you <laughs> yeah, mean yeah. oh don't, don't do that to me no what do you mean <laughs> <laughs> another fucking week yeah uh, right, that's it's, and it's such a painful week to wait <laughs> you know it's 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 rarefied air right to have like like when a show not only comes back after not being around for a while per se mm -hmm. and 
not only is it considered I would feel it's considered better than the first season, but it I honestly believe it just just blows the first season out of the water. Yeah. And of course, I, yeah. I, yeah. I feel like as far as like it getting better, every season of ReZero has gotten better like yeah. progressively. Yeah. I mean, so is there I hope there's enough content for season 3. I'm sure there is. Uh yeah. there's seven seven arcs out now. Seven. Oh, so there is. So Yeah. Yeah, there's seven and, arcs uh, right now. And arc with, four though. is the longest, and that's the one yeah. we're in right now. Yeah, I was gonna say. I, I think, think that we're... should be wrapping up relatively soon. It feels like it should be wrapping up relatively soon. Yeah. Right, and I mean, it really depends because you have to think about even even if like we got a season three right away. Quote like this. Let's say, oh yeah, season three is the thing. Like, uh, see, I don't it's... want it right away because it's well, so yeah, freaking right. good that I wanna, I wanna well, wait. Well, no, 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 even want, they, like, no, no, I want them to take their time on it and and make oh, it as do. as good as this current season. I think that I think well, yeah. I mean, if, if I'm pretty sure like light novel readers are pretty much going to have the advantage because they'll know what happens. But right, yeah, yeah. I don't need it right away, but I need it. Yeah, I mean that's a thing, right? You just let you just let the it's like eating really good food. Just let it, mm. just let it sit there and just yeah. savor it. One. Savor it. Yeah. Savor the good food you just fucking ate. So I think at, at this point, <laughs> after the. We didn't think we were going to get a second season, and now I think it has enough traction that we could definitely... See, see I, really? I, I thought we were going to get a second I season. Did, I, did, I, I thought... Yeah, I might have been... The, for, you were the one always telling me that we were never going to get another ReZero season. Did I? Deadass? I'm pretty I, sure I, I was I, like... I, 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 yeah, I you did. I think you were one of the people saying you weren't sure if it would get it's, a season. Okay, yeah, I, I wasn't saying like, I'm like, oh no, Deadass it won't. I'm like, I'm not sure, because it's been a it while. Was 2016 right. yeah. was the last season. Yeah. Yeah, and I was like, yeah, it's been a while. I don't know. Maybe. I mean, I wouldn't complain if they did, and they did. So now they have one. So, and like I said, ever since Devil is a part time got a season two, I, eight years later, I get once fucking... since since that got a season two. The only thing that will solidify everything always getting a season two is if Amaji Brilliant Park gets a season two. Oh, that's not getting a season two. If that, <laughs> if that, gets, if that gets a season two, if that gets Do a season, two, even have enough. enough. Fucking... I'm pretty sure. Oh, there's nine volumes of a light novel. Yeah, but like, who knows? Like, we we don't know if like any of the work was lost in that that attack that happened, right? I don't know. Oh, Kyo like, Annie made Bramagi Brilliant Park. Yes, I'm pretty sure. I still I still think what well, the main character or the the main M FMC is like the best girl ever. Oh uh, yeah, for, she like, was the... she was she was a good yeah. I mean, it was just a good show. <laughs> It's just charming. I mean, it that's, like a lot of that's one of those shows that I have a really high mental image of it, but I don't really remember it. And I don't want to rewatch it because I don't want to ruin that image of it I have in my head. Yeah, I think it's a fun watch. Like, especially in I mean, for any fucking Full Metal Panic fans hiding out there in the in the wild, uh, the the Fumofu Bear, whatever the fuck his name is, it's like it's like <laughs> a cool, it's like a cool callback. Yeah, I've never seen what Full Metal Panic or a Magi Brilliant Park or either. I've never seen. His name's Moffle. Yeah, yeah, the the other Moffle, Moffle yeah. guy. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I've seen some of Full Metal Pan Full Metal Panic, but not like uh, not in, in length. I don't like the Full Metal series. Like Full Metal, well, I mean Full Metal Panic and Full Metal Alchemist are not connected. I'm pretty sure they're not. If that's no, what if that's what you mean. Not, they're not connected at all. Yeah, they just happen <laughs> to have like similar names. Also, if that's what you meant, how do you not like Full Metal Alchemist? Yeah, what the fuck's wrong with you? That's Strike Three. <laughs> you didn't like, uh, like I was just waiting to see if I could slide that in there without anybody saying it. <laughs> like, I don't like. And I was actually thinking in my head of uh, the Dot Hack series. I don't like the Dot Hack series. They're not even the same, and Dot Hack doesn't even have metal in its name. No, the I. Full metal <laughs> that, I got the. I, I got. I wasn't uh, like I thought real quick when I said it. And I was thinking about the Dot Hack series, not the Full Metal series. Your brain don't work good. <laughs> Do you know how much caffeine I've had today? I should be dead. Tim, I had a fucking coffee on my way to work, a G Fuel, which is 300 milligrams of ca caffeine, at work. And then at lunch, I had a Diet Pepsi. After work, I had a fucking another coffee. And mm -hmm. then at dinner, I drank another Diet Pepsi. Diet Peppies. Uh, can't go wrong with Dr. Beppies. Dr. Beppies, bro. 
no i can see not liking don hack i mean that's one thing because it is it is a slow anime i do it's like full metal slow. alchemist brotherhood i've never seen full metal alchemist yeah. you could reason. watch i mean you'd be fine with not watching full metal yeah, right like the watching original brotherhood is brotherhood's fine brotherhood's better anyway so yeah uh I, what's... I think i think everybody says like can agree on brotherhood being better <laughs> Yeah, I mean, people are, like... I've also never thing. watched the Japanese version of FMA Brotherhood. I mean, I've, watched, I've watched both, and the English is solid, yeah, I, unfortunately. Yeah, unfortunately. <laughs> fucking <laughs> Nick. Nick out here just fucking Dubs just throw them in there. Old dubs are so good. Yeah, they're... old dubs are so good. New dubs? They're well, not. Hold on, wait, 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 time I will say on. not. Uh, some yeah. dubs are good. No. Thank we you. saw, we saw your not. name with Forager... As okay, job, that was pretty good. Uh, movie dubs are are different. Well, cool, you just I mean, said dubs. dubs. Higher, I think. Huh? You just said dubs. That's why I said movie dubs yeah. are different. Nah, all dubs are the same. Um, no, they're not. Dubs are bad in general. I mean, like, if you're gonna like, I wouldn't say like uh, the quality of a simulcast dub is the same as a movie dub. Well, Funimation no, dubs are trash. Agreed. I mean, they're bad. Funimation mm. has a monopoly on the dubbing, though, so they don't have to give a shit. Dubs and live actions are the worst. They're getting better, but... The FM live action wasn't that bad. Yeah, dude. I didn't like it for some reason. I don't know. I didn't feel like they were doing anything. Like, all of a sudden, it just looked like the ground was moving. <laughs> the fucking, um, the, the Alice in Borderland live action's fucking, it slaps. That I shit is... I didn't watch it. Yo, I'm telling dude, it's good. It's I promise. See, no, I know you... it gave me like Joker game and King's game and Darwin's game vibes, like killing games type thing. Games, good games. games. All Just these fucking all like games. all these things where I gotta fucking survive during a game. I have been liking dubs lately. Baki, Kakigurui, Dora, Hidora. Maybe it's a Netflix thing. I mean, Netflix does have a pretty decent standard when it comes to oh, the way they dub. Uh, Baki Travis, though. Tra- <laughs> Travis, what was that show on Netflix where they were like killing monsters or whatever, but they were rollerblading while doing it? Like that their suits, like their, with monsters. Their suits had like rollerblades or whatever. You know what I'm talking about, Travis? Yeah, but I don't remember the name of it. Fuck that dub was so bad, dude. Uh, that was the I've worst. never seen Baki actually. Yo, Baki, Baki's fucking gnarly. <laughs> Did it's anybody so- see the new Netflix show? I want to know if anybody's watched it. High Rise Across. Invasion. I want to watch that. I've kept my that one. Uh, my yeah. buddy, my buddy Adam, not the not the one that you guys know that I talk about. My other buddy Adam, he said it's actually pretty good. Yeah, so I, I, I keep seeing like clips of it on like TikTok and stuff. So maybe I'll get around to watching it one day. I try yeah. all dubs though. Like if it has like if I'm on Netflix and there's a dub for it, I'll go switch to it real quick, and then I'll see which one I like better. No fucking chance. I mean, we all have different ways on which on how we consume our anime. Nick is sometimes super dumb. But I'm, not, <laughs> you know, I'm not gonna judge you, man. You know, we've already had <laughs> Great Pretender is another one. Yeah, I'd say the dub for that one's pretty good. I think now that Netflix is starting to get more animes, the dubbings are getting better a little bit. We shouldn't say a little bit. It's definitely make leaps and bounds. Like we should, we have to give it credit. Like, I think even if Netflix, you don't like Netflix has quality dubbing. Funimation has Except trash dubbing because they have like six fucking people that work for them and that's it. Yeah, yeah. everybody's Piccolo. Everybody's Piccolo. <laughs> they're either, it's either Johnny Youngbosh or somebody else. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Hey, look, wait, what's how, No, no. Johnny Youngbosh, I don't think, is affiliated with Funimation. He just happens to do work. I think he's independent. Like, he's yeah. not through Funimation. Yeah. Yeah, well, name me one fucking dub that good. doesn't have Johnny Youngbosh in it. Okay, but like, could you think of another character that could replace Johnny Young Bosch's voice acting at that point? <clears throat> the dude that did Kosei Arima in Your Lion April. Bro, I don't even know what I Johnny even... Young Bosch sounds like. It's, I mean, what do you, that wasn't he Vegeta? Know, you, haven't seen, you haven't seen Power Rangers. Uh, uh Vegeta. What? No, um, Chris Abad Vegeta. Oh. He's Broly. He's the new Broly. It's funny. Lelouch, yeah, Lelouch. Uh, Yuna Arakami from Persona 4. Bro, I haven't watched. I, I haven't watched any of that in English. All right, you don't really want. <laughs> okay, so this. Okay, so yeah, in this case, Nick, because he doesn't really watch dubs, this wouldn't matter. He was Vash. <laughs> he was Vash and Trigun. You've seen Mighty Morphin Power Rangers? No, I haven't. I hated the Power Rangers. Nick, did you watch Trigun in dub? When I was like 
fucking eight. He's Vash. <laughs> he's Vash the Stampede. Okay. Yeah, All right. That. Well, that was he did a good job with that. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> he has a pretty good. He has a pretty good voice. He's Sabo in One Piece. I didn't know that. Yes, he was. Oh, and... he's in uh, High Rise Invasion too. Say, can't. He's he's a man. He's the man, the myth, the legend. It's morphin time. You know what I mean? Uh, <laughs> he's actually uh, Tomioka and Demon Slayer dub too. I didn't watch that either. Dude, Nick like will watch. You would have to. You would have to literally tie him down, it's like the robot chicken intro. You just gotta strap him to a chair and just keep his eyes <laughs> watch. Kogios is a great dub, by the way. No, probably not. Kog dub is better than the Japanese. It's, it's probably not. I like Kog, I like Kog uh, dub a lot. Um, I've watched Digimon subs, dude. Like, they, oh yeah, that's yeah, that's not. You can't that's get wild. me to watch subs. Yeah. He was uh, yeah. he, you didn't watch Digimon last uh, Evolution Kazuna and dub at all. No, nah, there's no way. Helsing Ultimate as well. Oh, uh, because yeah, he's true. uh, he's TK in the dub. Yeah, yeah, in the new dub instead of the old actor. Yeah, he's uh, he's uh, the he's uh, TK in the Tri series too. I didn't watch that dub. <laughs> <laughs> oh wait, hold on, wait, cause uh, it used to be you and Tyler are both fucking cancer, aren't you? What do you mean, bro? <laughs> like they're just better in its native tongue. Yeah, but you don't even try it though. Like you don't even give it a chance. No, I did. I tried my Hero Academia for one Which episode one? and did I wanted want... to throw up. He was not. I wanted to throw up. I just went to the bathroom and died. Did you watch the? Did you watch Primare and Dubber sub? No, I because Primare no, was know, bad in subs. <laughs> Oh my God, is not that bad. It's a bad movie. You guys are just. That's right. Because because hey. it wasn't because it was just Yaoi like just Yaoi <laughs> undertone instead of actual Yaoi. No, 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 Tim, no, no. you're the mod of the Discord, right? Yaoi. Boot him. What? I said you're the mod of the Discord, right? Boot him. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of live actions, yes, Tyler, give me your wisdom of <sighs> like the three live action. Wait, Tim, did you know Johnny Youngbosch was Jonathan Joestar? Yes. Oh wow, that's bad too. What? No, <laughs> it's the best. One. I mean, to be fair, to Wait. be fair, to be fair, it's really, it's really hard to beat uh, Gintoki's voice actor because that's who, <laughs> that's who he is in the Japanese stuff. That's hard to beat. So, eh. uh, you guys are just hitting them, fucking batting nine thousand right now, dude. They're all bad. No <laughs> way, they're not all bad. I mean, yeah, could do you not like them? Sure, whatever. Wait, there's <laughs> a Naruto live action that made it. Oh, it's like one of those fan live actions. That made its rounds on. No way. Throw that up. Throw that up. Fuck it. What are you? This is what we'll uh, kind of end the stream on. <laughs> <laughs> Not long enough. It looks dope. Is it real though? Yeah. Is it a fan one? Because like. Hold on. Like, uh, instead like, of I uh. Throw that shit up. Instead of putting it on the podcast, like putting it on like the YouTube video, I'm just gonna put it through the Discord. I had, uh, okay. Just put it over Nick's head. Yeah. Oh no, Nick just comes up over my head. Yeah, now I'm over by you, bud. <laughs> uh, yeah, I will look at my one unblinking eye, Nick, and tell me. <laughs> this looks yeah, like look a Genshin your... Impact fucking. I look into your brown eye, dude. I mean, you already have. Just, what is <laughs> That's this? That's how you know this podcast needs to end soon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it needed to end as soon as you guys started thinking that fucking dubs were good. Yo, bro, we can have this conversation <laughs> anytime. It's just gonna end the same. It's just one of those. It's just one of those debates. Look at that hairdo on Shikamaru. That's. Uh... <laughs> Wait, hold on. <laughs> okay. I, I fucks with it. You'd be most like the knight. That has to be like fan. Is this fan made? But, uh, it's definitely the most versatile. No, he's not. Uh, why does he look like a gorilla? <laughs> <laughs> why does Awesome look like a gorilla with a ponytail? This isn't showing up on the stream, right? The sacrifice. No. Guy? no. Oh, okay. it's like it's like it's showing yeah. but not playing. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Because you know I didn't want to uh, get flagged. All right, well, this is 12 minutes long, okay. so let's just pull uh, this up. Okay, well, yeah, yeah let, let's that. pull this up after. Where's I mean, Naruto? Why is this? It's just the Shikamaru story. Why don't we get That's him what now? it looks like, I yeah. My shadow. Shadow. <laughs> it looks good. Yeah. 
Yeah. yeah, it's fan made. Okay, yeah. See, that's what I'm saying. That's I don't even think we have an. Do we even have like an official anything Naruto related? Yeah, there's a stage play. I think. This, okay, I've said this before. The stage plays are fantastic, and I wish fucking Crunchyroll. I wish I lived in Japan for some of these stage plays. Like I wish I understood yeah, Japanese. Yeah, because I want to see the um, Ace of Diamond the, one. Called? The Ace of Diamond stage play and the uh, the one show. Wow, I'm drawing a blank blank now. Um, that I wanted to win. That no, that I wanted to okay. win, win. That I wanted to win all the the awards. I'm having a brain fart. Oh, is it kind? Yeah, Azuken, that live action. Oh there's, no, not that stage play, the live action. That's what I want to see. There's um also a banana fish stage play, Tim. I mean, I'm pretty sure that would be good. I mean, look, if if they can make the Naruto stage play good, then anything more realistic than that should probably be a bang. Right? Uh, the Naruto on is Titan, fantastic. Attack on Titan as a stage play. Yo, why do I feel like just stage plays are just super lit and we're just missing out on that one? I know, bro. Uh, I'd be jealous. America. I'm kind of. Could you gonna imagine a Naruto Japan, musical though? Like he's singing along as I he's would, trying yes. to fuck Sasuke. I mean, yeah, fuck it. Look. Sometimes yeah. you need content, <laughs> and that's one of the one moments. Tyler says yeah. high Q. They're just what are they doing just playing volleyball <laughs> in space. <laughs> <laughs> Each other <with> volleyball. <laughs> Boom goes straight dogs. Does... Wait, Boom goes straight dogs has a stage play. Yo, that's so you're, just, you're just watching someone try to kill himself the whole time on stage. <laughs> Wait, so I just googled a list of anime stage shows. There is yeah. a Prince of Tennis anim- uh, stage show. It's uh, a mu- I mean, that would Prince, kind of be tight. The Prince of Tennis musical. They're just playing ping pong. This is the top, I love tennis. The top ten <laughs> stage plays. The Prince of Tennis, Sailor Moon, Bleach, Hunter Hunter, Attack on Titan, Death Note the Musical. Naruto. Naruto musical. <laughs> Death Note the music. How does How? that even go? How? Does, you just hear this man like he, like singing out Disney songs of him writing the names down on the fucking Death Note. <laughs> L's opening song is called Where is the Justice? Where is the Justice? I don't know, man. L just fucking sits on the fucking chair and eats The candy. number one Cake. stage play is Digivon. They're fucking yeah. Mary- yeah, there you go, They're Nick. fucking marionettes, the little fucking puppets on the show. It'll, it'll, still, it'll still be good. Because <laughs> Japan goes ham and whatever the fuck they do, so Yeah. I'm pretty sure that's that should be a banger. We literally are the kids in America. We're the kids in America. <laughs> oh, we're the kids. And that was that was my musical, so <laughs> Holy shit there is. That main character looks pretty <clears throat> fucking good too. Uh, show it. Show it up. You look pretty good, baby girl. Do you tell me to show it? Yeah, no, it's fine. Fine. I don't want to see it. Why are you scared? It's not gonna look good. Yeah, I'm afraid. Why well, are, are you are you afraid it's gonna look better than the anime? <laughs> <laughs> Those are the two things. Wait for what? Digimon? Yeah, the stage play. The stage play character. Are you afraid it's gonna be better than the the anime character? I don't know. Oh, uh, the boom goes straight up. Yeah, so the boom goes straight up. That looks good. Yeah, that it looks, looks good. good. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Doesn't mean it's actually good, but yeah, but it looks good. I'm just saying. Look, I I, I have only seen one stage play. I have I have faith in their stage plays. For sure. All right. Yeah. Well, that that this has been a fun time. Yeah. And you just ragged on Monster Hunter for like a good 15 minutes, and then just talk. That was she ragged on me for a long time, huh? That's huh? bad. Yo, bro. Yeah, and then we got then we got interrupted by Jesus. <laughs> hey, man! I mean, you always got to take a time out of your day for Jesus. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> we do I this do. podcast it's for normally Big J, do. man. You need a full dub episode. Hmm. You're lying, April. Best dub ever made. I'll do a full dub episode. No. Hell yeah, bro! <laughs> what like? What do you mean? Just talk about the best dubs. Oh, because Nick. Oh, so we just exclude Nick from this conversation. No, 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 no. I'll just yell and scream the whole time while you guys. <laughs> you <laughs> you're just like every, every like thirty seconds. Hey, it's fucking bad. No, bad. I'm with, I'm with Silo in this. Yeah, we can do a full dub episode. I don't care. We need to have there's, a really good debate on why like, Hachi is like the best. There's like at least three or four dubs that I like. Can we include fan dubs? Because that'll make it more interesting. That would. <laughs> probably. There's YouTube fan dubs. Yeah, we could probably have like. Guys, and maybe maybe it's pop. Maybe we'll probably it'll probably be much easier to maybe show it. Maybe so maybe like people in chat can also just check it out. Yeah, we need to end the stream because um, 
Ame's showing Ollie and Muna around the uh, Yen server. Oh no. <laughs> well, let's go then. Well, yeah, why are they not playing Apex? <laughs> we'll fuck <start> our stream. <laughs> Travis is just getting sleepy. He just wants to go to bed. No, I just want to go watch this shrieking. <laughs> oh, okay. No, I'm just kidding. All right. I was just joking. But no, no, I mean, no, no, no. Yeah, we were going to end it anyway. Um, all right, well. It's been a it's been a fantastic hour and I don't know like what twenty some minutes. Cause... Well, since it took you fifteen minutes to get fucking ready after I started the stream, it's only been like an hour and fifteen minutes. Bro, I just had to make sure I freshened up. Right? Yeah, had to, put, had to make sure my all the eyeliners in the right place. Yeah, had to make sure like my fake eyelashes were on my forehead. You had right? to put your titties away, you fucking weirdo. Yeah. Oh no, they're out in the wind. They're flapping right now. <laughs> dude, I, I am so jealous of your neighbors. I wish I could see your titties all the time. Yeah, dude, do you ever do you ever see like a flag wave in the wind? That's what my titties are looking like. Your right neighbors now. are my favorite. I don't even Oh my neighbors. Your neighbor was staring at us when we sat in front of your house that one day. Oh, that one time you were smooching. No, you uh, were yeah, there yeah, too, yeah. Nick. I was fucking dead in your back seat. I know. Oh, that was because we were kind of in front of their house, so dude. <laughs> Travis was annihilated after Otakon, dude. Yo, <laughs> yo, look Travis. at that. The stream's ending. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I guess we're just going to have to save that for our next time. <laughs> I was so hungover that next day, though. It was disgusting. I wanted to throw up the entire yeah. time. <clears throat> All I know is, is I never want to share a bed with Travis ever again. You're going to when we go down this summer. What do you mean? I will literally just sleep on the bathroom floor. I'll share a bed with Tim. I'm not sure yeah, about okay, Dylan. Yeah. Fuck you, dude. <laughs> no, no, you're sharing it. No, you're sharing it with Dylan and Tyler. So have fun with that. That's if Tyler comes. Hey. I'm cooming. Coom. The big coom boomer. <laughs> Nick, so... Nick throws on the stream on my screen at the most awkward spot. <laughs> <laughs> he looks like he's a... now become he's now become a statue. He looks like a spud. Yeah. I know. Shut up. All right. I'm ending this fucking podcast. <laughs> Bye, Thank y'all. For Don't forget to follow us yeah. on Twitch and YouTube and check out the podcast on Spotify. Yes. Take care, yes. guys. Thanks for listening. Thanks for joining in. And with that, peace, peace. We'll see you next time.